Welcome to Fright First TV. My name's Stuart Wright. You are Alice Lucy, the star of Mad Heidi. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and it's your feature film debut. Yes. And you're the lead. I mean, how how does that happen? <laughs> to be honest, not a clue. But I'm just going for the ride at the moment and enjoying the experience. I mean, I mean, it's as I was saying to the directors earlier. You know, a dystopian Switzerland ruled by a fascist cheesemaker yep. is not the typical story about Switzerland. No. So. When you you pick up that script for the first time, yeah. what, what about it for you is going, oh, I need to be hiding? Um, I actually sent a text to one of my friends saying, I've had the most bonkers script come through my inbox, and I don't know why, but I have to be a part of this project, and I have that on my phone. I sent it to the directors afterwards. Seriously? And I think someone who can be so bold and so out there with their ideas, you have to just commend it and applaud it and go, do you know what? If you believe that much in yourself, then I believe in you too. And, and in terms of preparing for that role, what were the conversations like with the directors then? About because because obviously you, you you go on a on a hell of a journey. You're you're yeah. this quiet as a mouse sort of naive mountain girl, and then you're bringing down fascist rulers. Yeah, well for me I was really fortunate. So I'm actually a trained martial artist. Okay. Um, and so they really liked that about me that I had that kind of background training beforehand, mm. and it made it easier for that transition because I haven't done it in a long time. So actually when I started I was very much like Heidi, who kind of had some moves but not a lot. Okay. Um, and then as she went through it and the more I was rehearsing to do the fight scenes, the easier it got and the more connected I became with Heidi's badasses. So you, you, you rebooted your own martial arts? I rebooted it, which my dad was really happy with. <laughs> um, I mean, it is a physical role. Yeah. Um, so can you talk about so, what, what challenges that represented for you as an actor? If you've got the skills to do the fighting, yeah. there's still the terrain, there's still the, the speed at which you do things. Yeah, and also we shot a feature film in 28 days. Oh, wow. Which was a really quick turnaround. And also, I mean, you've seen it and the people that watch it, there's a lot that happens. Mm. It's not like one run for 28 days. We are all over Switzerland in waterfalls, in prisons, in mountains, you know, it's bonkers. And I think for me, it was just keeping up with the pace of the film was, was the biggest challenge. Yes. And also for me, I've trained in theatre before now, and you do a play every night in chronological order, and you normally rehearse it in chronological order. Mm. Don't shoot a film in chronological order. So actually, I woke up every day and went, what does Heidi know today? Because I couldn't give away too much if I was doing a scene full of information she didn't know yet. And that for me was a big thing to try and get my head around. And what, what was interesting about the film is that, is among many things, not, not the only thing, um, is there is that heightened, absurd tone. But then it genuinely goes to dark places. It doesn't mess around when it when it wants to hit home hard. Yeah, and I think that's kind of integral to making the film work mm. because it is absurd and it is surreal. But actually, the characters and the people that we built are quite grounded, and so you can relate to them still, even in this world of cheese zombies and absurdity. <laughs> One last question for you then. You've been in the first Swiss Swissploitation film. Yes. So, thinking about that, what do you think are the main ingredients that make a great Swiss Swissploitation film for future filmmakers to pay heed to? Um, don't be afraid of the cliché. Back your own ideas and have fun. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us on Fright Press TV. Thank you so much.